Hello everyone, my name is Nadia Adame and I am the Artistic Director of Axis Dance Company. We are a professional company that has disabled and non-disabled dancers. One of the things we do is that we describe ourselves physically so people who are blind or have low vision, they can imagine how we look like. You could try this later with your friends or maybe with your family. This is called audio description. So here I go. I am a Hispanic light-skinned woman with brown hair pulled up and back on a bun. I have green blue eyes. I am wearing a brown long sleeve shirt and a very thin pink sweater on top. My background is a um, wooden wall and on the other side is a big window with trees. Today I'm going to read to you this book, Mighty Mara, who is actually one of the authors, Karina Ho, she used to dance with Axis. Also another writer of this book is Jessie Bird, is illustrated by Monica Paola Rodriguez. Here we go. There. <laughs> Welcome to Same Town, a little place where liking the same stuff brings people together. Everyone grills the same foods, chants the same chants, plays the same games, and cheers on the same town sports team. Well, not quite everyone. Meet Mara. Mara doesn't have the easiest time fitting in because as far back as she can remember, she's been a little different. She dreams of having friends who get her for who she is. Mara, have you done your homework? And next up, we have 11 year old Julie, who is going to perform a dance for us. Julie, tell us something that's special about you. Where I came from, nobody dances except for me. People used to make fun of me, but now that I'm on TV, I hope I can show them how much dancing makes me, me. The next day, Mara had an idea. Sometime bricks, get involved, talent show, sign up. That is her name. What in the world is she doing? Does she call that dancing? You're lucky that you're getting a peek at these moves before the talent show. Mara knew people might not understand her dancing. Hey, pay attention to the game and stop flopping around. Are you going to play ball or are you going to dance? Mara, I'm a little worried about your decision to dance in the talent show. Do you think it's a good idea to dance in front of the whole school? It's not that I don't believe in you, but what if you competed with the mathletes instead? I bet you win that with your eyes closed. You're such a smart girl. She just couldn't understand why no one at school believed she could win the talent show. <laughs> Mara, come and have a snack. I made your favorite sticky rice cakes. You know, that you don't have to prove anything to anyone, right? You are who you are, and that will always be good enough. I know. I just want everyone at school to see that dance makes me special, and I'm good at it. People always do the same things in this town, but I want to show them something new. Come on, Mara. You can do this. Show this town what they've been missing. Next up, Billy with another magic trick. And last but not least, we have Mara performing an original dance routine. There she is. Oh, great. Look, all the stairs to the stage. Breathe in, breathe out. So, who's going to help me up there? 
Crickets, crickets, silence. Mm. Mm, that was incredible! Yes, yes! Woohoo! Woohoo! Amazing! Clap, clap, clap! Whoa, that was great! In second place, we have Billy with his rabbit in a hat trick. And what a surprise! Coming in first place, we have Lily with her pigeon in a hat trick. Oh, now they open the doors. And some town would never be quite the same. Hi. Hi. I hope you like this book. The authors have some questions that maybe you can think about. So, why do you think the Mara doesn't fit in the same town? In same town? How would you feel if you saw someone like Mara dancing? How do you feel, how do you think Mara's classmate felt when they saw her practicing her dance moves before the talent show? How do you think the people of same town felt after they saw her performance at the talent show? Is there anything about you that makes you feel different from other people? Do you have a talent or a ability that makes you feel special? And here are the authors. This is Karina, who used to dance for Axis. And she and Jessie Bird are the authors. And then Monica, over there, Paula Rodriguez, she's the illustrator. I hope you enjoy it. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and think about how magical you are. Bye.